Hey, do you remember last week where we played that clip from Sean Hannity where um, that guy, that low level, oh, Newt Gingrich, right? He was the former Speaker of the House, uh, Republican on there, was just one of many who was saying that if the Democrats won in Virginia, it was clearly stolen. This is before the election, incidentally. Well, here's Marco Rubio on that same Sean Hannity program. People are nuts. They spend all day on television and, and after, after they're off the air talking to everybody and they all agree with each other because they all live in one or two cities and they, they literally are completely out of touch with the fact that 97% of the American population lives completely different lives, has completely different views and then when, they, when election day comes they can't explain it so they chalk it up to they cheated or white supremacist or whatever. They make something up because they can't comprehend it. Last night was the beginning of that pushback and I think it's going to continue. And, and That's Marco Rubio uh, claiming that uh, Democrats uh, uh, on, on TV are talking about they cheated. Rejection. And incidentally, I mean, just to be fair, um, I've always perceived a significant amount of Republican votes. And I think it's really indisputable, frankly, is a function of white supremacy. There are different times where it may or may not uh, make the difference, but I challenge anyone to refute concepts like the Southern strategy and uh, Lee Atwater's deathbed admission. And uh, I mean, Ronald Reagan giving his uh, opening remarks in the general election at the Neshoba County Fair. I mean, a huge percentage. I don't know what percentage it is significant percentage of Republican votes every time is a function of white supremacy. Which is not to say that there isn't white supremacy on the Democratic side, but it is not the nearly the electoral strategy that it is for the Republicans, and that's be absurd to to claim anything otherwise. And to be talking, Marco Rubio, almost 11 months to the day from January 6th, and you talk about the concept of like, eh, they don't like the election results, they're so out of touch, they say it was stolen. Yeah, 97% of people um, don't see the reality of it. Like, okay. Also, I mean, it's, it, I don't know what he's talking about or who he's referencing. Who is saying that the election was stolen? I don't know. It doesn't necessarily matter, right? He can just claim That's that. That's question, and then yeah. the, and then saying, it, He was saying, they were, it, yeah, it sounds like he was saying they were saying it on TV. There's there's nothing, right. He's claiming that there are liberal pundits claiming this election was stolen. It wasn't particularly close. I haven't heard that people are saying that the election was stolen, but he doesn't matter. It's a way for whoever's watching him on the right to be like, see, the left does it too. Yeah. And they're hypocrites if they call us out for it. That's the function it serves. I knew a guy who, years ago, when Marco Rubio was was pushing for about 15 minutes immigration reform, who was like, Marco Rubio is one of the good guys. And I'm like, dude, I got some very bad news for you in some brief time in the future. <laughs> and I wonder where he is today, what he thinks of Marco Rubio, who's just like completely... Um, probably dazzled by Nikki Haley now. Generic, yes, probably. I mean, Marco Rubio is really just dime store Republican now. Yeah, he's toast. He used to have the uh, virtue of being like a younger ver Republican. Right, he was the that. young, he was like the next generation of Republican politician. I know, just because he looks young doesn't mean he's updated his software in any well, way. Well, now that's not even the case. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Nikki Haley. Yes. 